The next phase of development of our quarterbacks hinges around the decision-making process. And too many times, coaches fail to incorporate these decision-making drills into practice, and they expect a player to go out into a football game and react to situations that he may never have seen. Anytime you can set up a decision-making process for your quarterback in practice, you need to do that. And there's two phases that we do. I do a decision-making drill on the run and a decision-making drill on the pass. Let's first start with the decision-making drill on the run. The decision-making drill on the run comes when you're running option plays. And so many offenses today have incorporated option football into their scheme. That means the quarterback has got to see a lot of things happen quickly to him so that he can make the decision. Should I keep the football or should I pitch it? And this option that I'm going to talk about is just a double option. Either quarterback has the option to keep the ball and run or he can pitch it to his tailback if the defensive pressure collapses on him and he doesn't have the run. So we set the drill up like this. First we're going to do the quarterback decision-making drill to the right on the option. We have a shoot that the quarterback will run into if it's available. If the, quarter, if the defensive player comes upfield to take the pitch, then the quarterback will step back, attack this shoot, and run upfield. If after he takes a step back and attacks the line of scrimmage, the defensive end comes here to stop the pitch, he will pitch the ball to his tailback around the right side. So we have speed option right. You read him. If he steps in, you pitch it. If he steps up field, you get in the, into the hole and keep the football. Okay. Speed option drill to the right. It's a good decision-making drill for the running game. Okay. Now the coach needs to get involved in this to let the defensive player know what kind of reaction he, he wants. And this is the tough thing for a quarterback, to be able to pitch the ball or make that decision when someone's really coming down quickly on him. Okay, here we go. Break, go. Step, attack, attack, run the football. Okay, let's do it again. The reason I have two cones is where do you think I want to run you? Okay, let's run through the cone, do it again. And that's the quick cut that you'll have to make. You really have to be disciplined and get inside. Okay, speed option right. Break, go. One step, attack the line, get inside and run. Good job, good decision. Now let's do the same play to the right. Nope, same play to the right. We'll give you a little different look on the corner. Let's stop and hold it. Okay, speed option right. Break, go. Step back, attack, attack, pitch, good job. All right. He made a good decision. And you have to do that over and over and over again to drill in the quarterback's head, when do I pitch, when do I keep it? And there's a lot of gray areas. So you just have to keep putting that situation in practice. To run an option in practice without a defensive end Forcing the quarterback to make a decision is a wasted repetition and it's poor practice organization. Put a defensive end out there and give him a reaction so the quarterback has to think. Okay, don't just let him go out and work on a pitch because it's never going to happen like that where he won't have a decision. Do I pitch or do I keep the ball? Now let's look at the same drill to the left. A lot different drill if you're a right-handed quarterback. You really want to coach your quarterback as he steps back to attack this box area before he pitches. And of course the tailback decision making for him is he needs to stay in good pitch relationship with the quarterback. Speed option to the left. Break. Go. Attack. Attack. Good job. All right. Good. Made the right decision. Let's do it again. Here we go. Break, go. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Good decision making process. Let's do it again. Break, go. Attack him. Pitch. Good job. 
And see, that attack's going to be a little different every time. That time the defensive end really came fast. Sometimes he'll slow play it and then come down. That's a different look for the quarterback, and you have to show him that in practice over and over and over again. Put the quarterback in the situations in practice that he'll see in the football game, and his decision-making will be much better in the football game.